Hi everyone, it's Gail, and it's Forgotten Friends Friday. So we are gonna dive into some forgotten friends here, and I will tell you what we're up to in just a second. Let's say hi and hugs first to Sue, Michelle, Rita, and Mickey. Thank you so much for watching and your kind comments. Okay, so these little forgotten friends, and I have, <laughs> There's more of these, but these are um, little thank yous or little packets that I've gotten either as uh, thank yous for a pur purchase on Etsy or um, or with the different um, Etsy shares I do, that sort of thing. These two are from um, Vintage Polka Dot Shop. She always sends some extra little yummy goodies. And so um, I thought we'd play with those. I have a couple here from Took's Craft Table. And I can see there's some time cards and book pages and stuff and things in there. This is says random mini glassine bags with tickets. So there's those. This was a free gift. This one, um, oof. I don't know, they didn't put their shop name on there, but it's it was from an Etsy share. And this one, I don't know, must have been a thank you or something. It's got stuff in it too. So I don't know how much will get made, but I want to turn these things into things that can go in my journal. So I'm going to start with these. this little uh, bag from Toque. See, there's all kinds of little little fun things, but there's some things. This is a tea bag. These are tea bags, and then they have fun little tickety things in them. This one could use a little decorating, I think. This is just, these are just ready to go, really. They've got their little tickets in them. Um, let's see, what's this one? Oh, it's got a definition card in it oh these do have tickets in them I didn't think they did but they have fallen to the bottom kind of let's put this in here but see I should have these in my finished ephemera so I can tuck them into journals um, yep all of these have tickets in them is there any that Okay, those are black and white. I was looking to see if there was any purple ones. Cause, and then look, she's got little, really tiny, really tiny little bags. So, um, so yeah, this one, the tickets have been um, gessoed over. Feels like that needs a little bit of a focal point or something. I'm going to call these ones ready to go in my stash these could use a little something extra and this one so let's start with this one I'm just going to get going that's what I'm going to do um gosh I almost feel like that could maybe use a stamp how about that um I have these kind of at the kind of handy because I just used them but let's let's use this little guy and just stamp it right there so yeah I just thought these things are wonderful and they're sitting on my shelf let's let's use them let's do some stuff to use them so I don't know what all I'm going to be ending up grabbing up I've also got my um I think I'm going to do that on some book page to give it a little give. Um, I've got my little acrylic box of use it up items because I thought that would be good too if I could use up some items. Okay, doesn't that already make that pretty cute? Okay. I am going to try and just put things back where I'm getting them a little bit because otherwise I'm going to end up in a humongous mess I think 
because each little thing may require something different, you know. Um, I also think a word would, an up and down word would be kind of nice on that. So I've got these up and down words from a jewel design. So I'm just going to see, how about charming? Absolutely. Let's go charming. So yeah, I'm just going to see how much can I get done in this hour. Just hit it and see what we can do. Okay. Glue. Might need to grab a new glue stick. I know I'm getting low on this guy. Just gonna go right down there with that. Boom, that one's done. Okay. All right, um, had a thought. I know I've got some fun tea cards in my box here. My box of use these things. Here's a cute little tag. I think that's too short though. See, I have these. Oh, and here's a bunch of bunny ones. Okay, let's see if we can just put those together with these. And Okay, we've got one floral and a lot of mushrooms. Okay, those are smaller than I thought. These are a good size. These are bunnies. Here's some birds, too. These are owls. They'd be good in this one. Hmm, nope. I want something bigger that'll stick out the top because the, there's already tickets in there. Okay, so never mind on that. But, okay, I just had have thought if these would nope they won't fit in there okay never mind never you mind all right what else do i have that could go in there though lots of stuff in here but i don't know if i have stuff that's gonna oh here's something these are from Papery by Jennifer. This little bundle of fun stuff. I was seeing these mushrooms and thought those are kind of fun. We could just pop one of those in there. Yeah. Um, here, there looks like there's a ticket. Or I mean a tag that would fit. Ooh, that's cute a little sticker we could pop in there I'm gonna call that one done but I'm trying to get to this tag Phew! finally did okay it needs a it needs a hole punch I'm trying to move swiftly and not take too long to decide on things because I want to be able to I want to be able to finish these in the time allotted myself. Okay. That goes nicely in that one. That one and that one. I feel like I could almost use another little something, but oh, there's another one of those. What's this? I'm trying to get down to this. It's a little sticker of some sort, too. Okay, I'm going to put those couple things in there. Along with, maybe, one more thing. You know the threes. The threes always get me. Okay. 
because it does, for whatever reason, it does just feel right, doesn't it? There we go. There's a fun little bundle. Okay, we have these. Could put another flower sticker in here. I'm going to call that the good one. And this little one. See what we might have. Got this little label would be cute in there. Like that. Okay. Yes. And there we go. All of those are ready to go in journals. Yes. Okay, let's let's continue. Let's kind of fold that over. The sticky on acrylic bags drives me bonks. Okay. Okay, those were little <laughs> kind of kind of fussy. Let's see what's in here. Oh, we've got a got a fun library card thingy. We could put that in there. What else? These are book pages and music. Even if I don't use these right now, but put them with the book pages and music, then they'll get used. But when they're in a sack by themselves, not going to get used. So let's see. This is a really cool old book page. Oh, it's two. Gosh, that's lovely. I think I want to make a pocket out of those. Okay, excuse me with all my paraphernalia. I feel crowded. Let's see. Scooch those over. Get all my glue pages together. There, that's a little bit better. You know me, I don't work in a mess very easily. Okay. So this is folded in half, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna maybe fold it like this. It's about four and three quarters wide, so it's a good size for a pocket. I might hold my breath and see if this is going to punch okay. Yes. I know if I put something, you know, another book page or something behind it, it would have, but I wasn't sure. Okay, let's round the corners up here. But this is a wonderful rag paper, and so it's just, it's cool. I am going to glue that, and then we'll decorate the pocket because the, um, the text is upside down. It's rag paper, but it's also tough. You know, sometimes your sometimes your old pages they don't want to stay together for you. Do we have what do we have over here? I'm looking for some paper to. And a collage on the front. Just looking through what I've got that would kind of be good for things that I have going on. See this one. I'm sorry, these are the unmarked ones that I have and I'm not sure 
where it came from. So I can't tell ya. Anything I do has to be today has to be completely done. I'm not letting myself owie. I'm not letting myself um, like make things for the to-do box or anything like that. It's gotta it's gotta be done. Kind of wondering about this on there. Maybe it just go like that. I think it will. Kind of going with, you know, whatever's fairly, fairly swift here. I figure spring or summer, this will go with it, so... Not that we're near summer. <laughs> Maybe getting closer. Maybe. Okay, let's put you right kind of down to the bottom-ish. Of course, I would like a little piece of my tape. Fun to just be kind of doing the randomness of this. Okay. So that's good for something to go in. Now, I do have a lot of things in here that could perhaps... This. Now, this. That's cute in there. So we're using up these pieces to make things, but we can also hopefully make a dent in the use it up box too. Well, that's not bad either. It's like three, two, one, make ephemera. Quick as you can. <sighs> okay, and then whatever journal I use this, I can maybe tuck into there something, you know, that goes with the kit or something like that. Okay, that's going in the done pile. Okay. What do we have in here? I've got a couple more things in there. Um, I'll put the extras in here. What I was thinking is taking this apart and using the bag, which I will at some point use the bag, but not at this very moment. Okay, now I'm having a what to do moment. Ooh, let's do this. Here's a bag. Little bag pocket. Let's do it. Look at this. We've got... We've got things that are going to work perfectly. Perfectly. <laughs> Gotta find my equipment. Find my equipment. Okay. There and then I'm gonna give it a little to go down in the. This will become the pocket on this sack.
So you could do this too, even if you don't um, have things from Etsy shops, you could just go around your room and gather index cards or tags or envelopes or bags or whatever you might want to and then have just a stack of those on your desk and make from the stack kind of I don't need the backing of the tape to be right in my work area, do I? This was double-sided. I think I was going to make a booklet thingy out of it, but it's getting used here. Okay, it's got faint little lace that I'm going to put at the top. And then this one. It's going to go this way because I'm going to flip it over a little bit like that. Okay. Alrighty then, we're going to glue it. Let's see if we don't have some, maybe some fun things to go in here. Let's run away. Put that in there. Could put this one little ticket in there. Now it needs like a, a tag or something, or something taller. have a bunny in here although he looks very springy there's the bunny oh I like how his eye peeks out okay he needs a little distressing but then oh and then we need something in the bag don't we I don't know if I need to worry as much about what goes in because as long as the piece is done most of the kits will have things to, to put in there but that little guy is super cute Okay, I feel like I want something right there. You know, um, I was enjoying some of the sayings from Mrs. Cog's Crafts. Um, thought I had some. Yes. Um. as a daisy. <laughs> no, I don't think I want those on there. Sometimes you just don't know till you try, you know? Okay. Um, there's some there's some words here. Or or tickets. I 
kind of like that. Ooh, wait a sec. These are pretty. Hang on, I haven't decided totally. That's really cute. Ooh, I like that one. Okay. Still artsology, just different kit. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna call that done. Perhaps we'll come up with a tag for it. There's lots of tags in the stuff from um, Vintage Polka Dot Shop. Okay, let's just check in my time. Um, let's see what else is in the other random ephemera pack from Toop. Oh, there's this. I love that. Essentially, that's done. That's going in my um, journal cards, as is this. They're both postcards, as are these. So, but I, I wouldn't pick, have picked them out when I had journals to do because they're in these instead of where they need to go in the finished ephemera. That's one too, cool. Okay, oh, she's made some tags from, from book pages, that's fun. Some old book pages, you can go with this one. And then lots of fun little bits and pieces. A little doily, a playing card. There's a tea card. Some more book page here. Here's a tag I was kind of wondering about like one of those for this. I think it would be fine. I don't think it would sink down too far or anything. Okay, let's decorate this and then it can go in our bag and that's just going to be done done i mean if what's in there doesn't go with what you want to use it for you can always do a little um you know a little switch take what's in there out and switch it around Okay, let's use um, what is this? Ooh, that's cool. Let's use that and then let's use a bit of this. Find my ruler. Okay, I'm gonna put those on there and then I'm not sure what, but something behind it. I'm look I'm perusing as I'm I mean, I could use a little doily. Okay, I think I have it. I think I have it figured. Let's do this. I'm gonna cut this doily into fours. Oh, there was more than one doily there. So, and I'm gonna put that like that, okay. So just under there. Let's just go right, oh, right on the tag. Get that down. Like that. Okay, and then I'm gonna put this on the edge here, like that, ugh, 
<laughs> I think it partially it's from getting to the end of the glue stick. It's kind of getting a little, a little much. I keep wanting to use these tags as my glue page. I better set them somewhere else. Okay, and then what I'm going to do, so I'm going to put this right here. And then I'm going to put there like a butterfly or something. What do I have in here? A rose? Yep. And this is on label paper. So. Easy peasy. We've got ourselves a tag. So, this can just go in here. And there we have it. Can always change the topper if we want to, but that is now completely, completely done. So that's exciting. Let's see, what else do we have here? All sorts of itsy bitsies. And more book pages. I'm kind of just trying to stack all the book pages together so that I can put them in a, in with my book pages. Oh, this is just cardstock. Okay. Let's do something with one of the time cards. Once again, I really just like to make pockets out of these. You can, of course, do lots of other things, but the pockets are kind of pretty much. Oh, yeah, I could do that. Um, I'm not seeing where I stuck the other stuff, but I think these are stickers. I'm in my use it up box. Or is it just vellum? Maybe it's just vellum. Just gonna kind of see. And then that's just paper. Okay. Ooh, that's pretty. But I don't want to cover up the whole thing. Happy Christmas. Okay, those are awesome, but not what I need for this. So, oh, I see what I was looking for. Okay. These are kind of a use it up thing too. They're stickers. This is just a little piece from something else I did. I've got, I thought I had, I thought I had some pieces here. We could make something that's kind of neutral looking. And put that across like that. That's fine. Because as you can see, I don't want to hum and haw too much because I just want, I want to just get some, 
get some things on their road to being a, a finished piece of ephemera. This is not easy to get off, as I recall. But it is a sticker. It's just a stubborn sticker. There. Oh, I don't have any fingernails. <laughs> so much for going quickly. Did you guys watch the final four? Did your team win? Mike and I were kind of rooting for San Diego State just because they'd never been there before. But UConn just was too good. Okay, so there's that. Um, I don't want the other side. Like, like that. I think I'll do that and then I'll put some book page on there too. Um, yeah, it was fun to watch. I, I, I just love March Madness. I'm kind of sad it's over. It's just fun to watch and I, I just love watching those big old boys get so excited and of course when they're sad it makes me cry so a lot, a lot of emotion in it that's for sure come on dot guy don't give me grief you're gonna do it aren't you you're gonna just give me grief if you guys have a, a good tip on how to get these stickers started you let me know they are a pain I'm gonna go there with that cut that little bit off okay looks like I need to cut that off too I it doesn't have any sticky anymore since I struggled with it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stick these actually in here because that's where I was looking for them. I think that's where they were before. And I thought I would remember them better if they were out. But I obviously didn't. Okay, there's some, some bits of book page here too. I feel like I more want something long across the bottom. I'm just gonna grab a piece that I have in my basket behind me. And do that instead. So, yeah, I'm filming this on Tuesday, so we just watched the championship last night. Enjoyed it. I liked both the coaches on the teams that played. They seemed like pretty classy guys. Okay. Go ahead and just put that around. Okay, and then we can put something there, I think. I'm going to glue the pocket, though. I wonder who first in the junk journal world said to themselves, a time card. That'd be something fun to play with. <laughs> I wonder who that was. Oh. Right 
there. piece here. Oh. Um, I need like something, some little something to put right there. Um, I think everything here is too big. So how about take something out of here? There's the word natural. Why not? She's a natural woman, you know. Remember that commercial back in the day? You make me feel. Well, the other side says nature. I like natural. Okay, there is just a little neutral that, I don't know, could have, could have something in it. I don't know what exactly. Not a zebra. <laughs> um, oh, you know what I love? Let's see, who are those from? Um, oh, I know where they are. My box, this is kind of a use it up box too, but wouldn't one of this look like this be fun in there? Junk journal ephemera this is from. I'm gonna put that in there. I don't know what else yet. Okay. Yeah, that'll be good in there. Just a little something to write. Write a quick memory on or something. Okay, that's done. How we doing? It is, oh, we have 20 minutes. Okay, well, we haven't really done anything out of the, um, out of my vintage polka dot shop one. How about this? It's different than what we've done. It's a little coffee dyed um, coin envelope having trouble finding the name. It kind of bent over in the coffee dyeing. But I bet we could find something that would just go kind of the length of that. What's all this stuff? This is a similar bag, only it's ephemera. Oh my gosh, look at her and her. I don't know, she scares me a little bit. I don't know if I don't want to use her quite right there. Um, do we have something in here that would work? That's cute, but it's not really a, a style that I use. Um, Okay, so instead of this box, let's go back to this one. This is just bits and pieces from um, from things that I've used. And like there's the some Bloom and Heather designs, some of her tags. Just looking for like a picture of some sort. I could cut those in half. Is there any of these that would? I think I might use that. I like these butterflies, but. I kind of wanted to use them as a journal card. Okay, 
So these came from here. What else do I have in here? I have some other stuff. Hang on. Sideways. I think I like what I grabbed. Alrighty then. Let's see what we can do here. I think if I cut that off where the tag is, it should work just fine there. save that. That's a fun little scrap. We can just put that on there and then see, from, see where we go from there. Okay. bottom first. Maybe over a little bit. And then I think I might put some washi across the top. This one caught my eye in my box. Yeah, I'll just put that right there. Might need to trim it a little. We're getting quite a stack. The stack has fallen over, to let you know. <laughs> because we have created quite the stack of finished ephemera. Okay, let's put that there. Gonna trim up, trim off the edges here. And this one. Okay. All right. I feel like we could have something here, but I might again. I think I'll save that for whenever the um, journal is. chosen that this is going to go into. And then on the inside, you could put a piece of um, cardstock or a piece of coffee dyed paper or whatever. So, but that's a fun little piece too. Okay, how are we doing? We have about, okay, about 13 minutes. Let's see what else there might be in here that might be a little bit different. Here's some more book page. Coffee dyed though. Ooh, that's lovely. Ooh, here's one of those. Let's play with that. Ooh, what? Some fun tape. She does it differently than I do, I think. But that's going to be fun. I'm going to put that with my tape because, again, it needs to be where it needs to be. It's more book page. Let's do this. Um weekly time card thing. By the way, Emily from Vintage Polka Dot Shop, if you should happen if you should happen to watch this video, I love getting these little random sacks of goodies. So thank you. Okay, I'm gonna get that back to where it's That. I want to see if we have a little person. These are from Louise Heinzel. Ow. Owie, that hurt. <laughs> Sorry. Sheesh. Um, a little person that might be 
fun on there. I don't know. They're going to be... I don't think they're going to be small enough. Oh my gosh, these little guys are cute. Yeah, let's play with them a little bit. You know, just try and... And vary things a little bit. Now I'm going to have to trim a little bit of her arm. So I'm going to apologize in advance for that. I think I want some color behind there. Like maybe something flowery. I also have thought, I think these little flowers, which are like they're stitched, I may put in my box of use it up over there because this is so full. So I think these two are going to come over here. Yes, my box is getting full too. I may have to get another receptacle. Um, I want something, maybe, maybe something like that. Nope, that's too much. This off. Let's cut the stem off here. And I kind of like, kind of like that, like that. That was what I was thinking. Okay. <laughs> you guys, this desk is not my usual. I can't, almost can't do it. This is where I need my vintage TV tray on the side that I have not been able to find. My friend Peg got one, got two that are super cool. I think, did I can't remember, Peg, did you say your friend got them for you or something? Anyway, I haven't found them yet. Someday I'll find them. Okay, so you are going to go right about there. So I want you... Right about here. Cute little children. So tomorrow, Mr. Alfie comes to stay with us. I'm excited about that. Excited to see my daughter too when she brings when she brings him, but. Yeah, because they're going to Salt Lake City for volleyball, so we get the mister. I hope he's fairly healed up. I think he supposed, was supposed to have his stitches out yesterday, maybe. So hopefully he's on the mend, poor little guy. He had ACL, if, if you missed that. He had ACL surgery, sweet boy. They think he slipped on the ice, and that's how he kind of injured himself, but little buddy, that makes me sad. Okay, well, we have those cute little faces on there. And I'm gonna give that a little, I keep putting this owie on my, on my ink handle and that's not good. So I'm thinking I want to put this in a pocket and just have it be quite a bit of extra journaling space. Um, yeah, I think it's it, I think it's good just as it is. It just needed those little sweethearts on there. Okay, what do we got? We have about six minutes. I don't know if I can 
do anything in six minutes. See what these papers are. Let's let's do some organizing. Because I'm thinking these papers can go in my box right next to me. Um, let's see. This is kind of like a, almost like a watercolor paper or something. One inch, oh, hello, Emily. There you are. There's a time card. Craft paper, craft paper, a little music. There's more. Okay, she made these up ahead of time, I can tell. Okay, so the graph paper I'm going to put together. Put these music pages together. Put the graph paper together. And I think I had another piece, didn't I? Nope. This. Little kind of ledger paper, and this is cardstock. Okay, so I'm gonna put oh, that's good backing paper. So I'll put that with the backing. This is gonna go in my paper basket that's right left of me that I can grab as I need good papers to use. Um, that was there. Okay, then, where's all my book pages? They're here. So, I've put, I'm about to reorganize this, but I'm not there yet. So, I'll stick those little pieces in and stick those on top. Okay. That's good. Okay, and then, okay, so this came from Emily, as did these. I'm kind of excited. I don't have any super handy, but look at this cool glassine bag. That'd be fun to put some napkin on or something, but I don't have the napkin handy here. So I'm going to put all these back in here and they've got her card in there. I'm going to get rid of the acetate from there. Okay, and then this toque, right? great. Actually, all of this was toque. I'm just going to pick this stuff up. I'm actually going to leave this out so I can use my thing and take out the take out that and see See if I can salvage this sack to use and decorate it too. Okay, two stickers coming off really nicely. Yep. So I'm going to be able to save this sack too. Um, this sack, can I save it? I generally always save this sort of thing if I can make it so that it's decorate decoratable. Is that a new word? Then I save it because we're all about recycling with what we do. Okay, and all of these fun things came from Took too. So let's see. Let's put these little guys back in their sack, and then I'll show you what we got done today which is quite a bit actually i'm happy we may have we may do this for a few forgotten fridays or forgotten friends fridays because i i just think it's fun to make use of these things these were from two also so in those go so i've got vintage polka dot shop Took's craft table and then these that I don't know where they're from. Okay, guys. That is that. That all needs to be put away. And then let's see what we made, okay? 
Okay, so just a little decoration on this, not too, too much, you know, but it'll be cute in a pocket. And then we've got the little um, coin envelope, a time card pocket, neutral, and a springtime um, bag. We've got all these um, journal cards that Took sent that are postcards. So those are gonna go in my journal cards. We've got this little pocket out of the vintage book page. And we've got all these little glassine bags that have tickets and whatever. I'm gonna store these with my tags because I think they'll be perfect little things to put in the front of a pocket. So that's what we did today, guys. Thank you so much for helping me out with it all. I'd say, I'd say we made a little bit of progress on those little stashes of fun bases. So I hope you all have a really grateful day and we will just see you in the next video. Bye everyone.